Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading we're going to take a look into different aspects of energy, the current situation, the recent energy, the past, present, and future. We'll also take a look at what's going on with you, what's going on in your environment, and what your hopes are and based on the current energy what a likely outcome or what you might see happen around you. Just a gentle reminder also that we are about to go into the next Mercury retrograde, which means you might be in your feelings feeling a little bit more reflective. The Mercury retrograde is going to start on September 27th through October 18th, and it will be in Libra. So this means that it'll be oriented towards um, well, Libra being an air sign, you might be in your head a little bit, but it's also about reflecting on how you have been communicating with people in the past and any opportunities to improve um, your own communication style. Libra is also, um, this is a time of looking at how things can become more harmonious in your life as well. So let's dive into your reading and see what information we can get for you. Guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, 5D light and above, please come near. Please connect to Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey regarding the current situation, near-term energy, past energy, future energy, and environmental energy, please, spirit. In, in addition to hopes, what Pisces has for hopes and going forward. Thank you. Please be very clear and precise for Pisces, please, Spirit. Give away a couple more shuffles. Okay, here we go, Pisces. And there seems to be a lot of ambulance activity this morning, so pardon if you hear all the sirens. So what is current your current situation? Five of Pentacles. Well, this is kind of stark, but we do, we'll get more information on this as we continue through the reading, but we do see the Five of Pentacles as the current situation. So there might be some, you know, feeling of being out in the cold, loss, rejection, abandonment, or maybe you're just not feeling good. Maybe you're just feeling, you know, worn down. Maybe you're, you're needing to have time to rebalance yourself. So what is influencing this? And we have the Ace of Wands. So this is a new beginning. Maybe you have just put your energy into so much that you're not sure how you're going to get the steam or the gas to go towards something new. You feel as though you may be feeling as though it's it's almost there. Like it, it's just, if you could just touch it, if you could just reach it. Um, but this five of pentacles seems to be that, you know, you're feeling the energy of not having it, of some type of lack, but you're really wanting to have this new beginning. So let's look at what has been going on in the recent energy. In your recent energy, we have the Hermit. This is withdrawal. This is learning those lessons, but also, you know, I'm really getting the energy more of withdrawal, which is tied to that Five of Pentacles of, you know, being out in the cold, have been in separation from things around you as a result of, you know, you've really been doing this growing and evolving and the hermit is a reflection of the lessons you have learned. So what has happened in the past energy? Okay, well, this says it, three of swords, you know, that heartache, that pain, you know, the, the pain is real. You know, you, you cannot escape the energy of loss um, until you heal from it, until you learn the lessons from it, the pain and this is a reality. Let, let's just let's just call the kettle black here, right? Like the reality of your experience is that you have in fact had heartache, pain, and loss. You have endured difficulty. And we see in your current situation, you are, are you are in fact trying to move forward from that, but something is still hung up apparently in your vibration around that. Let's continue. So what are your current hopes? Yeah, so you're definitely wanting to move forward, wanting things to align. You you know, you really want to come out of this energy and you want this new beginning. You know, and I feel here it's just a matter of time, Pisces, of allowing yourself to process those different feelings, those different emotions, allowing yourself to release, but also moreover, Pisces, allowing 
yourself to heal. So you can, in fact, go towards your hopes, dreams, and desires here of the star. So what is that ahead for you in the near future? We have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is good. This is like after you have recovered, after you have taken that time away and found a way to go towards a new beginning, we do see that there is stability, security. Ten of Pentacles can refer to family, connections, relationships, but it's it's really foundational. It's about having put in the work, really earthy, groundy, um, grounding work in order to come to a place of stability and security. So what is going on in your <clears throat> in your environment? We have the emperor. So this is, you know, you're not really showing your emotions right now. You may feel as though you're shut down a little bit as to, you know, being emotionally available. You're trying to make the best right choices for yourself. Um, and this is how you see yourself as well as, you know, just taking charge, doing what you need to do to get through. And then people around you, we have the Knight of Cups. So you may in fact have people thinking that they want to come towards you with the, um, romantic offers, proposals, or gestures. At the same time, you're not necessarily entertaining any type, <clears throat> pardon me, please, any type of emotional situations because there is a fragment of you still dealing with, let me rephrase this, still working to have this new beginning. You, you are, I do see here, Pisces, that you are moving forward. You are working to have this new beginning. But we see right now you're currently um, in a phase of realignment, of finishing, not finishing the healing, but continuing the healing so you can release and go on to build something else. So what are you hoping for in the future? King of Coins. King of Coins is success. King of Coins, masculine energy of earth. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you want to build. Just as we see here in the future, you know, that security and stability here in your hopes and dreams, you're really wanting to have the success, whether the success for you, each of you have a def different definition of success, is finding that right person, finding that right job, being, you know, independently successful coming into financial greatness, you know, however this King of Pentacles is for you, this is what we see is your current focus. And then what is the likely outcome here? We see the Ten of Cups. Well, this is beautiful. Thank gosh, right? Like after all this difficulty you had in the past, we at least have a silver lining here, which is showing that the likely outcome, as you go through this process, you might you know, I'm seeing almost like one of those sound waves, you know, up and down. You might be just undulating right now. Overall, your trend is improving. Like you're getting better. You're healing. You're moving away from what used to hurt you, from what you used to partake in. But here, you know, it's, it's taking a lot of control for you to really focus on clearing the past out and we see the emperor literally staring at the hermit the emperor knows you know you have gone through many seasons here and in the hermit's lamp is in fact the star that lights the way your healing here pisces is helping to light the way to your happiness it's it is a process it is you know something that takes time but we see that your your focus is fixed and you're really determined with this king of coins you're really determined to reach that pinnacle of happiness however that is defined for you so let's get clarification <clears throat> pardon me spirit what do you want pisces to know about this five of pentacles what is this five of pentacles for pisces current situation what is this five of pentacles for pisces current situation you know and for some of you this could also be um, apprehension because you may be facing a new beginning and you're not really 100% clear on what direction you'll be going in but you also you know based on what you're seeing what you're dealing with that it's almost inevitable that a change is coming so it's going to require you to come into your power your authority it's going to require you to step up into a place of confidence one more card for this five of pentacles please one more card for this Five of Pentacles, please, Spirit. One more card for this Five of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Thank you. Okay, we have quite a few cards. So 
before these cards came out, I was seeing that this Queen of Wands could also be a fire sign or somebody who has those attributes, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius in the feminine energy. So this could also be that you could have a person who demonstrates those behavioral aspects or it could be a fire sign who does want a new beginning. You could have shut somebody out, Pisces, because you said no more, um, And but they may want a new beginning. And I say that here because they're looking at the past, looking at the connection between the two of you and but you're not having it you've you've been there and done it enough and and you're not entertaining their fragmented energy and here we have you you're looking at the truth you're looking at the truth of the situation you're looking at what you have been through in the past and you're not you're in your confidence and you're overcoming this challenges thank you spirit so spirit is refining this this is there's several pisces out there looking or, you know, viewing this video. So this is going to resonate differently with the current situation. But we have a few storylines here. This could be you, Pisces, being out in the cold from a past connection or past situation. But moreover, I feel as though it's either somebody around you that you have walked away from and is feeling out in the cold but would like to have a new beginning with you, but you're effectively blocking that. Um, but this is you looking at the truth of a situation, really being honest about um, a hardship or a difficulty or something that did not pan out. So let's continue to this Ace of Wands. Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about this Ace of Wands, please? What is this Ace of Wands, please? I mean, at the, at the basic heart of the matter, we have something that fundamentally did not work. Um, and either you or somebody else is desiring to move forward from it. The spirit's refining my words. That is, is fundamentally not working or did not work. So that take that as whatever that is for you. What is this Ace of Wands? Hold on one second, guys. What is this Ace of Wands for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know about this Ace of Wands? What is this Ace of Wands for Pisces? Thank you. For this Ace of Wands, Pisces Empress. Yeah, you are the you are the freaking Empress. You know, independent of gender here, Pisces. I mean, make no mistake. You know, somebody could have cast you to the side or treated you in a manner that was below your value. Or you could also be in a situation where you understand that it is uh, and not in not in an egoistic way, but the the facts are the facts that you are dealing with a situation that is not on your level and it's it's not you're really just seeing the truth in this situation here and we have this new beginning with this ace of wands you are the empress and you're going to go towards situations that recognize your truth just as we saw with this queen of cups you're looking at the truth of the situation looking at the facts really doing this analysis of you know where you've given in the past and where things have not panned out so to speak so here we have the empress yes look at this the nine of cups and yeah so this could be a work situation but you're really you're going to give your focus on the things that are abundant that are fulfilling for you you're no longer giving to the five of pentacles energy or people places things whatever that is so this is really i'm hearing it's a evaluation of the situation people places and things that brought a five of pentacles energy to you any type of rejection abandonment or loss um energy you're really evaluating that and seeing the truth in it and you're not having it anymore and you're focusing on this new beginning where you are able to be your true self the empress where you can work towards your own wish fulfillment satisfaction and abundance so this is about you know just just coming to terms with the fact that you may have for too long allowed yourself to be in situations or around people who did not value you or undervalued you or you you may have even um coalesced or accepted you know crumbs but let's look at this hermit so what is this hermit for pisces recent energy what past energy what is this hermit for pisces recent recent past energy we have the ten of cups so Having gone through this Pisces, and here we have the Ten of Cups twice with the Hermit. So we're seeing here, Pisces, that out of this experience and out of this 
reflection upon the situations and circumstances that have really, pardon me, that have really been difficult for you. You have really been able to refine your focus and have that higher knowledge from your experience of what makes you happy. And, and it has become very apparent that the situations around you that you may have accepted in the past are not it. Um, you Whether you have endured a job that didn't make you happy, a relationship that didn't make you happy, or you were just settling for something that was subpar that you allowed to be in your existence, but it never really resonated with joy to you. So what this is saying here, Pisces, and I'm extra fidgety today, pardon me. So um, what this is saying today is that through this, as you have really looked at the truth of the situation, you have come to the awareness through your experience that you want to focus on your happiness and you, you, you're going to have a departure from any five of pentacles energy around you, whatever that is for you. What is this three of swords? So let's see what this three of swords is because this three of swords in the past energy is, you know, I'm, I'm feeling that it's a particular catalyst for change that has occurred in your life in order to orient you towards where you're meant to be because you are not meant to be in this five of pentacles energy. What is this three of swords, please? What does Pisces need to know about this? Thank you. So it could have been a third party situation. Hold on. Okay, so we have a few cards that came out here, Pisces. You could have in the past, for some of you, been in a third party situation here that caused pain, or you could have been around people or situations that did not take you seriously and were just flirting their energy around and involving this does not have to be in a relationship. It can just be in any situation where people involved other people and it was unnecessary and it really caused some type of heartache and pain. Let's see what else we have here. Then we have the devil. So people were behaving from a, a seat of narcissism, a seat of ego, a seat of toxicity. Then we have the temperance card. The Cap the Capricorn card. The Devil card is Capricorn. The Temperance is Sagittarius. And then we have the Eight of Swords. So you for a while may have been trying to work through the heartache and pain. You may have even been stuck in a place of trying to rationalize the relationships and situations that were going on around you. Trying to... <clears throat> I'm, I just heard you may have been blaming yourself and thinking you were the one that was the problem while all the time it was just an opportunity for you to recognize where you did not belong and to really pull the blindfold off of you to find a course correction in your life because where you've been running into heartache and pain, those are stop signs and you know directions for you to turn left or right and to not keep going forward. So let's look at the star card for your current hopes. What is the star for Pisces, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about the star? What is the star for Pisces, please? What is the star for Pisces, please? Okay, we have a lot of cards for the star. So you have a lot of hopes right now, Pisces. <laughs> so for the star, we have the Ace of Wands. Look at this, guy. So we have that you are seeing the truth in situations where you have been out in the cold. People put you out in the cold. People did not value you. Whatever that five of pentacles is for you, you are seeing the truth of it. And as a result, you are going towards a new beginning. And here with the star and your current hopes, your current desires, we see the ace of wands coming out again. So it's make no mistake, Pisces. Your, your focus is fixed on having a new beginning and moving forward. And then we... You see the truth. So I'm getting here with this page of swords. People are watching you as well. People people might be speaking about you, but people are really intently watching what you're going to do. Because I'm feeling here that you have a number of people and situations around you that know they have in the past undervalued you or are currently 
actively still engaged in undervaluing you. And they know that number one, you're not a dummy. You know, you know what's going on, you know what's up, but also you they they know that you are getting to your tipping point and where you're either going to speak your truth, um, but either way, there's going to be some type of communication regarding your new beginning. But also these people are watching you and know that you are, you know, working on coming back into alignment and no longer going to be allowing people to treat you this way. And, you know, it could be in teams and partnerships. There's going to be a, a rebalancing and a decision made here because you want peace. You want to come to a place of restoration and healing. You have had enough of being taken for granted, being um, undervalued, overutilized, and not appreciated. You you just you're not in that place of accepting that five of pentacles anymore. You're you're just you're done with it. So now you're you're definitely going to be speaking and seeking your truth. Here, the page of swords is very diligently seeking that ace of wands and here you're going to come together differently with people and you know the justice card is also about truth it's about being balanced it's about making right decisions and here with the four of swords you're going to make the right decision regarding connections partnerships where you're investing your energy where it brings you peace because you're you have given yourself enough to situations that have been peace thieves. What is this Ten of Pentacles for Pisces near future? What is this Ten of Pentacles for Pisces near future? Please, Spirit. Thank you. Baby. Baby. So we have the Ten of Pentacles with the sun. This is beautiful. This is a clearing of the way. This is that you, as we saw with this Queen of Cups here, you are looking at, and in the current situation, you are looking very keenly at the truth of situations in your life. You, you're having honesty, um, both about your role and accountability, but moreover, you know, what is going on around you. And I think previously in the past, you were more, it was easy for you to say, oh, I'm accountable for all of this. But now the truth is coming to light here that in fact, no. You know, we see the justice card that you have done more than enough in these situations. And now it's time for this change. It's time for you to focus on what is going to bring you peace, where you are valued. So here we see in the near future, and let me get one more card for this Ten of Pentacles, please, Spirit. One more card for this Ten of Pentacles, please. One more card for this Ten of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Please be clear. One more card for this Ten of Pentacles. Thank you. Baby. The sun is coming out. The wheel is turning. Change. You are about change. If it, if you come to a situation, person or place or thing that undervalues you, check please. No thank you. If you are in a low vibrational energy or around, let me, I need to recorrect my words. If you come around or a low vibrational energy comes around you you're like no thank you bye bye you you don't you no longer have time for that you have much um quicker acuity and recognition of what makes you happy and what does not make you happy here with the hermit in the recent energy you have done a racking and stacking of what brings you happiness what brings you joy and you do not have the capacity anymore to entertain the energies of the past that brought you low. We are looking at a, a renewed Pisces, a Pisces with um, a greater understanding of who you are. Pisces, when you know who you truly are, when you know who you, you truly are, you will not settle for less. There's, there's no possible way you can. When you're thinking that you're low, when you're thinking that, oh, this is my fault, when you're blaming and operating in a, a sea of um, servitude or weakness, um, servitude can be good, but in this particular aspect, I'm, I'm speaking of like trying to play to people to 
people please. Thank you, spirit. To people please. But this is not where you're at anymore. Your focus, your focus is fixed on realigning with yourself, with your truth, going towards a new beginning, speaking your truth in connections, partnerships, and where you're investing your energy. And things have to be balanced and things have to be peaceful. And that's how you will utilize your decision making going forward. Does it bring me peace? Does it bring me joy? Is it balanced? And here we see you utilizing those markers, you're going to go towards the Ten of Pentacles. And as you go towards this Ten of Pentacles, you are following your joy and positive change is occurring in your life. So now let me get a different deck and we will look at these other situations. So it, for this Emperor Spirit, what does Pisces need to know about this Emperor for Pisces current environment? What is this Emperor for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about this emperor, please? Thank you. And it's interesting how the cards fell. It's almost like there's two different things to say about this emperor. Here we have the Ten of Pentacles. Look at baby. You are fixed. As we were saying, your focus is fixed. And be dang anybody who gets in your way. Because you are not you are not messing with trifling people. You are not messing with people who are going to trip you up. You, you've had enough speed bumps in your life. This is about the road clearing. This is about a clearing of the way that you have actively chosen to do for yourself here in the current energy. Again, saying, you know, you are looking very sharply at people, places, things in the past that have brought you low and that is no longer acceptable to you. So here we also have the five of wands and the, yeah. So with the five of wands and the wheel of fortune, wheel of fortune coming, it's very interesting here, Pisces, because we see the Wheel of Fortune with the Ten of Pentacles in the future, the near future, let, let me qualify, in the near future. The sun is coming out. This is good news. This is a change of fortune. This is the sun and the Wheel of Fortune is um, good fortune, um, good fortune, good luck, and then um, financial prosperity. So some of you may even be, you know, really focusing on having improved finances or commitments, things like that. Anyway, Back to here, we also have the Ten of Pentacles and the Emperor for your current environment and energy. So what we're seeing here, Pisces, is your, your focus is fixed and you're making positive change away from, these cards came out like this, away from any type of trifling energy. You are no longer engaging in bullcrappery. You're, you understand that people might want to, you know, keep you low, keep you in a state of confusion, keep you in a state of chaos, because when people are in states of chaos or confusion, they are not able to clearly discern their own right path. But this is no longer where you operate. You are very clear. You know exactly what you want. Your focus is fixed. You're in your seat of power and you're rapidly moving away from any type of chaotic, disorienting people or energy or situations. What is this Knight of Cups for the environment and people around Pisces? What is this Knight of Cups for what is external to Pisces? What is this Knight, thank you. And we have the Four of Cups. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm just, I'll get another card in a minute, but look at Pisces. Around you, people are coming with their cup. They're like, hey Pisces, take my cup. I got a cup for you. Hey, I have something for you. And you're like, get the fuck away from me. Pardon my language. But seriously, it's like, no, thank you. Like, who do you, who do you think you are coming to me? You're a knight. You're not even a king. Like, I'm an emperor. Like, step back. Like, let's, this is, this is going to be a reality check for some people. One more card for this Knight of Cups, please, for Pisces external environment. Wow. Look at Pisces. They're, they're coming to you with this little rinky dinky cup. And you're like, no, thank you. Because look at your cup. You have a beautiful, beautiful cup. This is your beautiful, beautiful life. And you are own, you are, you are accepting and taking ownership of the truth of your life that you are divinely and uniquely blessed and protected. And that you do not have to settle for little measly cups because you are the queen of cups. Look at, look at the difference in these cups. 
literally. Like there's such a great difference. And what's more important here, Pisces, is the fact that you do you are realizing that you do not have to rely on anybody to give you anything. You, you are not dependent on them giving you a cup because you naturally, when you were born, you were born with your own cup and it's a beautiful grand cup. So, you know, people are might be a little bit shocked or taken back by the fact that you're like, where before you may have been like, oh yeah, 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 I want that, I need that. Oh yeah, what about me? But now you're realizing you don't need them. You might allow them to be part of your experience or you might take on something they're offering, or, you know, this could be even a job offer, but people don't understand the um, breadth and depth of your experience. So they're offering something from their my very myopic, small-minded view that would be a fit for you, and it's not even close to a fit for you. So this is really in your environment, in your external um, place, you have people around you who, one, can't understand who you are, and that's, that's fairly natural for Pisces not to be understood. That's kind of like storybook Pisces, right? But also, this is about you evolving and following your path and walking away from what you used to accept. Because what you used to accept is no longer an option for you. What is this King of Coins for current Pisces current hopes and dreams? What is this King of coins for Pisces current hopes. Okay, we have quite a few here. Hold on. They're all over my arm. All right, so for this king of coins, Pisces, we are having the page of pentacles, the eight of pentacles, the three of pentacles, and the hangman. So Pisces here, for the king of coins, we realize that the king of coins is about success. It's about groundedness. It's about very stable energy and commitment. And here we have the page of coins, the eight of pentacles, or page of pentacles, which this could be a new offer opportunity um, or something you have learned. You may be working on learning something that's going to add a new skill and enable you to have a different perspective. But really what I see is this is the process of you separating yourself from where you used to be because you're leveling up. Look at these coins. The king of coins, this is almost like what you're doing to become this king of coins or to achieve this king of coins is you have really learned lessons, you have evaluated, you have gone through all those elementary stages and really focused on building something new for yourself. And now you are releasing the past in order to bring new, more substantial things into your life. However that resonates for you, it'll be different for everybody but this is really speaking about what you have been building for yourself and what you're working to obtain what is this ten of cups for pisces please spirit in the overall outcome what is this ten of cups for pisces for the overall outcome thank you baby happiness for pisces look your focus is fixed pisces you have seen the sun and you now know what is possible you may have previously had a limited vision for yourself. You may have thought, this is good enough. Oh, well, this is all I'm supposed to have. I'm not meant for more. This is all that is available to me. In the past, we see Pisces here with this Eight of Swords, a very limited mindset that may have grown out of heartache, pain, toxic things that were said to you, maybe people could have said, oh, you're not worthy of this. Oh, you're not good enough for this. Whatever it is, you're breaking free from that. You're healing from that. You're heading towards a new beginning where you're keenly aware of the truth, of the impact of partnerships. You're also recognizing that people are watching you and, you know, let them watch. People are always watching Pisces. But moreover, what we're seeing here is you coming to terms with the truth that you are the empress and there's no reason why you should settle for less or accept lower value offers or opportunities for yourself because you have already suffered. You have suffered enough and you are bringing an end to your suffering, to allowing yourself to be undervalued because here you have gone through 
the seasons of heartache, the seasons of difficulty. And as we see in the center here, Pisces, you are currently shifting gears to go towards a new direction that is in alignment. And we have the Eight of Pentacles twice here that is in alignment with your truth that you are the Empress. And that as you release and as you allow the flow of abundance and creativity to come into your life, you're headed towards your wish fulfillment and you will only give energy towards what is abundant and what is a match for you what is really truly fulfilling you have gone through the seasons where you have learned by the contrast of unfortunate events what really truly is a match for you as you have realized who you are you have realized even more clearly what is not meant for you what is not a match to you how can an empress be a match to a knight? How can an empress be a match to a page? It's just not an equal equation. And here with this hermit, you are understanding the, the proverbial math that's taken place in your life of a checks and balance sheet. Here with this justice card, we see just that. Checks and balances with the scales of justice really weighing out. Is this an... Uh, equally valued is this an adequate situation and you truncating cutting off severing those partnerships that investment of energy and separating yourself from that in order to realign yourself with your truth and here with this hermit we see that you have realized or are in the process this isn't the recent past near-term past that you are realizing where your happiness lies and here in the further past we see that you have in fact endured a lot of heartache and pain from multiple people from toxic situations from you know negative cycles from things being unbalanced and from being in a you know unfortunately stuck mindset so we see that in your hopes and current focus you are realigning you are working on healing you are going towards the desires of your heart with this ace of wands we are seeing a new beginning is dawning for you pisces in the near future we have the ten of pentacles showing that abundance is on your doorstep literally like this is on the doorstep of your near future this good news good fate good luck a, a change of um, events is going to be taking place that is going to be very prosperous and very fortuitous for you as a result of the choices. Now understand, this is a very clear statement to be understood as a result of your choices. Now, if you're not choosing to separate, separate yourself from things that are unbalanced, you may not get to this place of um high value or you know good news so to speak so you un you understand what i'm saying right like this is you know the process of going through decision making to realign yourself and as you become realigned you are going to go towards this future of stability security of increase of positive change taking place in your life then here pisces in your in your internal environment we see that you your focus is fixed on security on stability on things that are very true and committed you are turning your back to chaos to arguments to strife to bickering because you are actively choosing change in your life you are changing towards a place of peace a place of resolute stability and as you do that in your external environment, you may be receiving offers or people coming towards you, communicating. Again, we are heading towards Mercury retrograde. So you may have people coming towards you with offers. But here, you know, this is non-participation. <laughs> I choose not to participate. Your cup is not my cup. Because remember, Pisces, you were born with a divinely blessed cup of your own. You do not need anybody's cup. You have your own cup. You only need to recognize who you are and what you have. And then your entire vision and how you operate is going to change. You're no longer going to be accepting 
or even interested in, you know, these measly knights, these measly pages that are coming around. You are the queen of cups. You are the empress. They can get back on their horse and ride out. So here, what we see in your, your hopes and your current focus, knight of coin, or king of coins, you have definitely been working. You have been putting in the work, learning your lessons. You're reinvesting and reevaluating what you're going to put your energy in, but then also at the same time releasing. As you gain this different perspective, as you see things um, differently, you are also releasing things so you can allow new to come into your life. And the final outcome here we see is that you are in fact working on having a very abundant and happy life for yourself. You're getting more tap tune to tuned in to your intuition, tapped into your intuition. And as you do that, as you release the noise, the chaos, the chatter from your past and that low vibrational energy, it's it's clear clearing yourself, your vibration, and giving you a clearer vision of your purpose, your journey, and your true hopes, dreams, and desires that are actually a true match to you. And as you do that, we see you moving forward to this happiness and emotional fulfillment. Spirit, one card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces, please. One card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces, please, Spirit. One card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces, please, Spirit. So we have heartache and loss, which is, you know, Spirit is reiterating here that you have definitely gone through seasons of heartache and loss, but those, the sun is shining, the sun is coming to cleanse, um, the sun is a healer, and it's going to help you move towards releasing that, and, you, and then we have the Empress. So, you know, one of the great things about pain is when you have learned to, you don't always understand pain, but you can come to the place where you're like, I can't change the pain that I went through, but I will accept it. And when you accept it, you're able to release it and move on. And when you're able to release it and move on, you're able to reclaim your energy, call back your soul parts, call back those pieces of you that you had allowed to stay with other people you're coming let me rephrase that you are returning to you you're realizing that you had your cup the entire time you were born with your cup you are not beholden or relying on anyone else to bring you a cup and part of the reason you had heartache in the pain past heartache and pain and loss in the past is because you did not understand that you did not need anybody else's cup because you had your own. You are the empress. You are, your natural state is creativity. It is flow. In the energy of creativity and flow, you are able to give birth to abundance and live a very abundant life, which as we move forward, Pisces, this is exactly what we see happening. You tapping into your intuition and realizing that your dreams, hopes, and desires can, in fact, come to fruition. This is the message I have for you, Pisces. God bless.